Hi. So it's time for Ask Wendy. How you doing? How can I help? How you doing, Wendy? Good, thank you. <laughs> I'm Nicole. I have two kids with my ex-boyfriend, two kids with my current boyfriend. <gasps> right. <laughs> Holidays, I make my ex come over forever and ever. I make everyone spend all the holidays together. That's my rule. Okay. Um, only thing is, my ex and my current boyfriend do not speak to each other. Civil to the kids, super mature. Okay. They just don't speak. Okay. I want us to take family vacations together, family portraits <laughs> together. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> My girlfriends say that's why my current boyfriend is never, ever going to propose it, like you're never going to get married. Am I wrong yes. for trying to <laughs> Yeah, 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 Nicole, you're wrong. Now, how old are the kids? 15, 11, okay. 7, and 7 weeks. <gasps> wow, you go, Nicole. <laughs> Um, Nicole, um, it's unrealistic um, to continue with all this family activity with the men being there. Now, if you're, if the old man wants to drop off the kids to you and the new man, that's one thing at the holidays. Um, vacations are absolute no-no, and pictures are. How old are you? I'm 35. Okay, grown. So oh, you the way. So you know, you look like Cookie all of a sudden. <laughs> Says yeah, that. pretty. God is good, thank you. Yes, <laughs> but look, you're being unrealistic, dear. Mm. Oh, mm. good luck. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying, Nicole. Hi. Hi, Wendy. My name's Jean. How you doing? Hi, Jean. How can I help? My ex-husband and I divorced 20 years ago. <laughs> Since then, I've remarried, and I'm super happy. The other day on Facebook, I get a friend request from my ex. Oh. I admit <laughs> I'm a little bit curious about how, what he's up to. And, but more so, I'd like him to know how well I'm doing. <laughs> Should I accept the request, or am I asking for trouble? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would your husband say if he knew? My husband would let me do that, would let me accept the request. He trusts me implicitly. Okay. And he should. The, you know what? Because I do believe in rubbing stuff in people's faces. <laughs> In, in a really sophisticated kind of way. Mm, I believe I can do that. So accept his friend request and then be dignified and send him a long letter about what's going on with you. Wait for him to reply back and then once you're satisfied, delete him as a friend. Okay? All right, Jean. Thank you, Wendy. Good. Oh my gosh, your hands are so soft. How you doing? Alicia, how you doing? Hi, Alicia. How you doing? Wendy, I met a guy a couple months ago in a group setting, went to a couple barbecues, a couple of events, and we went on our first date three days ago. Um, he got sloppy drunk. Yay. Very annoying. Yay. All over the place. <laughs> Touchy-feely. Oh. We went our separate ways at the end of the night, but I found him to be very, very annoying. We're grown adults. Why would you yeah. get so sloppy drunk on the first date? Should I give him another chance? <laughs> um, no, wait, hold, now hold on. <laughs> I think you need to have this conversation with him. Okay. And then you need to keep an eye on him because him being sloppy drunk might be indicative of maybe he has a drinking problem. You never know. Well, and you don't need that. Yes. I and don't, as far Wendy. as touchy feeling, I'm no. But can you blame him? <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Okay. Like your Thank body, you. your body is sick. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Call him up and explain. As a matter of fact, tell him to watch Ask Wendy today. Give I him, will. Give him one more. Chance. How you doing? Hi, I'm Christy. How you doing? Good, thank you. You having a good time? A great time. Okay, so how can I help? So, I've been married for three months, and I go to buy a winter coat. Okay. So, I go out, I find this coat. It is so obnoxious. It is a faux fur cheetah print coat. It is so big, it goes down to my knees, and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Me too, in my head. <laughs> And so I bring it home, and my husband sees me with it on, and he is completely disgusted, and he hates it. And he tells me flat out that it turns him off completely. Now, now why is he disgusted? Is, I mean, I guess you're not from Jersey, number one. No, no, no. Because... Houston, Texas. Okay, Houston. Same difference, though, in terms of, you know, everything is big in Texas. Mm -hmm. Cheetah, hair, the whole bit. Yeah. I, it, it's too flamboyant for him, I guess. Okay. But... So, but I love the coat. So now I'm having to choose between do I want to be a fashion icon or do I want to have a decent, or do I want to have a decent love life? So what should I do? Don't wear it around him. 
That's true. I mean, you have a life outside of your husband. You know, mm -hmm. whether it's going to see your friends or whatever. So wear it other. Don't return it. Did, was it a fortune? No, faux far. For me, oh. maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Well, good luck. Wear it in good health. Thank you so Without much. Without him Wendy. seeing. Thank okay. You. You're welcome, young lady. Oh. Yeah. Everyone's so tall. I love it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, my name's Joshua. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> So I've got this problem. I've been at my job for about four years and I have become the shoulder to cry on. Everyone comes in my office, whether I'm in there or not. Sometimes I come back in, people are in there waiting on me. I can't get my work done. I'm missing deadlines. I'm coming in early, staying late. I love it. I love to help people, but I don't want to be rude, but I've got to get my work done. So what do I do the next time somebody asks me to be that shoulder? Do you have time after work? I mean, I stay every, every once in a while. I, I guess, maybe. Well, look, how about this? Listen, I'm so sorry to hear about what's going on with you, <laughs> but I am not your therapist. I, and, and you are not the one who pays my bills. I wish you were my therapist, so, That would be lovely. So please, you know, can you go into your cubicle and figure out your adult problems on your own? Uh, be absolutely. nice. Your, your delivery is so kind. Nobody's going to think you're mean. <laughs> I know, I try, I try. Yeah, no, it's a good one. It's hard. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, come on. See, now, see, now this is, is this the cheetah you're talking about? I did this for you. Yes, you know I love a cheetah. Hi, Wendy, I'm Bridget. How you doing? How you doing, Bridget? Um, well, Wendy, I was married for 14 years, recently divorced for two months now. <gasps> Do we say we're sorry? Um, no. <laughs> no. It was for the best. Okay. Um, through this union, we have three kids, but I recently found out that his new girlfriend has been living with... Okay, wait. So, his girl it's only been two months, yes. and he already has a new girlfriend? Yes. Okay. Has been living with my mother in well, my ex-mother-in-law. Okay. His mother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I feel angry and betrayed by this. Uh -huh. What should I do? Feel angry and betrayed? <laughs> Should I say something to her, just woman to woman? At and... this particular point, you've got nothing to lose because she's already divorced the son. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if I were you, I would say something woman to woman because this woman mm -hmm. you have to have in your life as you drop the children off to play and whatnot. And this is something you have to get off your chest. Your mother-in-law has been aiding and abetting the side chick. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Yeah. yeah, say something. And you know what? And you don't need his opinion because he and you aren't together anymore. <laughs> So get your thoughts together, you know, and yes. How you doing? Good, Wendy. My name is Maddie. How you doing? Hi, Maddie. How can I help? <laughs> um, so my boyfriend and I, we've been together for three years, and we're just about to move in together this summer, and I really want a puppy, and he's into it, but I don't know if it's too soon to start the dog thing. Should we wait for how long? Well, first of all, summer is so far away. We yes. just got finished with the summer. I know you're excited about it, but I would say wait on the puppy until spring mm -hmm. of the following year. You know, like you move. And, and by the way, the puppy should be yours or his, mm -hmm. not both of you. Okay, then it'll be yours. <laughs> then, then, then you buy the dog or get it from the, the kennel, you know, um, and, and you buy the food and you're mainly responsible. If it's your dog, then it's your dog. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good luck. Thank you. Yeah.